So, Mike, happy Christmas. Uh, how How is everything going for you? Fantastic, as locked, locked down as possible. It's a lovely time of year. <laughs> how are things there? I'm guessing the same. Um, so, I suppose probably the first most appropriate question I could ask you, uh, since you are the voice of Dr. Eggman, is... Um, I've heard of him. Pretty much, uh, how did you uh, get that role as Eggman? You've been doing it since 2003. You're the longest English voice actor for Eggman. How how did you get it and how, how have you been able to keep it? Well, got it just like uh, any other gig. I auditioned. I've been working at 4Kids Productions as an independent contractor voice actor for several years doing stuff like Ultimate Muscle and Kirby Right Back At You. And the folks that produced Kirby Right Back At You doing the dub got the uh, dub for Sonic X, and they were very interested in having me read for Dr. Eggman. So they had me come in, they sent some clips of Dean Bristow, I uh, did my best to match my Dean Bristow voice, I did this, rah, 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 rah. went in for an audition, Sega was not convinced, they had me come back for a callback, or two, or three, each time I did more of this, Dean Bristow, rah, 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 rah. and by about the third time they said, yeah, okay, you'll do. <laughs> and I kept that role through 2010 when they had me re-audition, and they were kind enough to rehire me. And the rest so far is history. So um, I suppose since uh, the Sonic movie came out, uh, Jim Carrey did the voice, uh, sorry, they ad- acted as Eggman in that. Uh, did you see the Sonic movie? And if so, uh, what did you think of Jim's interpretation as Eggman? I've not seen the film because as far as I know, I wasn't in it. <laughs> So it just hasn't interested you to see it. No, no. No, I much, I much prefer things I'm in because usually when I'm only there, I'm, I'm there just recording voice tracks, and I may or may not have any actors with me. I may not know how the final product's going to sound. So I like to hear the finished product. I, I like your way of thinking, Mike. I like that way. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, so before the whole virus thing came around, uh, how was work for you then, and has it changed since uh, the whole? virus lockdown stuff has uh, kind of started. We're a freelance business, so I would go into any number of studios depending on what project I'm working on and for whom. So I would usually be in Manhattan at any number of studios during the week, during the month, an ever-changing assortment. Sometimes I got to fly out to L.A. for the Sonic people. Sometimes I would fly out to other places in the country, but generally an easy commute from the suburbs into Manhattan. And then since lockdown, uh, we'd been working from home. A lot of people had stuff in their... Uh, home for home studios like this fancy microphone um i just added some more stuff so that i could sound a little bit better but we have all been working from home the commute is much shorter now (laughs) i'm guessing you're quite new to the whole uh work at home thing or is it has it just been a thing that you sort of did but not as much We've been auditioning from home. The whole business has has found that it's more convenient to audition from home because you don't have to round up a bunch of people to just come in for two minutes and read a sample sentence and leave. So at-home auditions has been a thing for well over a decade. And I even had some uh, clients that would just work exclusively remotely. So yeah, I've had a reasonable home setup and I've just been adding to it and adding to it. And now it's it's much better than it was when I started. But yeah, at-home recording has been going for at least 10, 15 years. How did you get into the acting business and what would be any advice that you'd give to any uh, fellow up-and-coming actors? As a kid, I grew up loving radio and loving theater. Uh, So I did whatever school theater I could do, community theater. Uh, When it came time to pick a career, radio seemed a little more stable. Acting jobs I had figured out were they last as long as the production lasts. So if you're in a show, the show is over, your work is over. Radio, you tend to be there until they fire you, but that seemed to be a little uh, little longer term, so I pursued radio, but I still, uh, even during my college and, and formative uh, post-college years when I was doing radio stuff, I still kept my uh, hand in community theater and various Amdram stuff. And when radio finally changed for the worse and the fun personality uh, world of radio became not so much fun uh, and they kicked me to the curb, I was able to fall back on my uh, acting thing. And I was able to combine the two because I had done a whole bunch of commercial stuff and character work in uh, comedy bits. And I was able to put together a demo reel out of that, send it to places and a couple places liked it. And then it improved from there. Any uh, good sort of Christmas specials or anything that you were in that you'd like to suggest to the viewers to watch? 
Pixie Post and the Gift Bringers. Um, it's a Spanish film originally, uh, but it was it's developed in the Basque region of uh, Spain, and we recorded it in English, and then I guess they dubbed it into other languages, including Spanish. It's weird. But yeah, if you look for Pixie Post and the Gift Bringers, I play, among other characters, Olancero, the Basque version of Father Christmas. And it's a very heartwarming story. Do you have any sort of Christmas stories, any sort of Christmas memories uh, throughout any Christmas year? Uh, the best ones involve work. Uh, Macy's, the folks who make the big Thanksgiving parade every year, they also have a, a Christmas-related uh, smartphone app. I'm not sure if I'm still in it, but two or three years back, I played Father Christmas in the Macy's Thanksgiving uh, app as ho, 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 and all that stuff. Merry Christmas, as you do. Um, so it may still be there. I don't know. I've never played with the app far enough to find me, but... I might still be in there. Would Christmas be like a busy time for releases that, of shows that you're in? Sometimes, but generally by the time it's released, we have nothing to do with it. We're there for the record, and then it can take weeks or months or even years before it's ready. But yeah, stuff will... We're, we make great stocking stuffers, so stuff shows up uh, sometimes in the bargain bin, maybe around Christmas time. But yeah, it's generally by the time it's released, we're done. They might tell us something's coming out. They might not. Where can people find you online? Where, where can people find you? And uh, any other notable roles uh, that isn't Eggman? Tons of stuff. Uh, if you look in behindthevoiceactors.com, look me up under Mike Pollock. You'll see 175 some odd roles now. There's a whole bunch of uh, advertising stuff that I do. I'm currently uh, uh, running uh, in commercials for IHOP here in the States. And... Uh, uh, who, what else is running that anyone might have seen? There's that. There's also some Hooters spots that are running. Uh, so look for me online. The best place is to go to the uh, IHOP YouTube channel. Check some of the recent uploads. Some of them sound like me. Um, let's see. There is uh, the reboot of Caillou that has been out since 2017. Uh, not a popular show among every age group, but if you got kids or you want to uh, try something interesting for a few minutes at least, Caillou is on uh, YouTube and uh, some various streaming services. And you'll see mixed in with all the other episodes, the ones from 2017 and uh, beyond, that's us. Um, other stuff, just check uh, social media. It's a mic on Twitter. It's a mic on Facebook, though I hardly use it. And uh, Insta on Instagram as well. Same thing, hardly use it. Insta Twitter, best place. I know there probably might not be a load that you can speak about or even a load at all with the whole virus thing going around. But is there any sort of upcoming projects that you're in? Any sort of shows that you want to announce or speak about? On the show? All this, all the stuff that I'm have done that is not yet released is uh, officially a secret because fiction relies on the element of surprise and corporate uh, security relies on all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. So unless you've heard that I'm in, in in something, I'm not in anything. We'll leave it at that. So, <laughs> um, uh, any final words? Any sort of words? Um, anything left to say? Anything? I worry to say. I owe you some advice. You asked about advice. I didn't give you the advice. Um, if if you want to be a voice actor, learn to be an actor because it's really less about the voice and more about the, about the acting. So any place you can learn to act if you've... Well, when there were schools <laughs> and there was theater. There's none of that now. Uh, theoretically, at some point, there'll be a thing called theater and Amdram and live performance. Uh, so <laughs> adjust this for your own reality, but any type of theater thing, I guess there's, there, there are various, um, online zoom call based, uh, <laughs> theater groups. Now find one, join it, learn from other people, take acting classes if you can. And then at some point when you're ready and you, uh, can hire a voiceover coach to help you make a demo and you finally make it into a recording booth to do some stuff, leave your inhibitions at the door. Go in and make a fool out of yourself because you're being paid occasionally big bucks to uh, give something uh, memorable. So don't hold back. All right. And um, one thing before we go, uh, can Eggman or I don't know, even Santa, I don't know. Can they wish us a Merry Christmas? Sure. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if we can do both. Uh, Dr. Eggman might say, ho, 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 have a happy, jolly, merry, whatever. Whereas Santa might say, ho, ho, 
ho, Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 it hurts. I'm Jack Caffrey, and thank you very much for watching my interview with Mike Pollock. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did filming it. Thank you, of course, to Mike for agreeing to do the interview with me. And I will be back with more interviews next year. And with that, it's time to end. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Good night.